Hi Aquarius, I'm Pam the Lucky Mermaid, Psychic Seer and Modern Mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for April of 2022. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in April and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign may resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, sometimes your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. This recording is for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Rising, and Aquarius Moon. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot Deck in these readings. All that being said, Aquarius, now on to your April 2022 Psychic Tarot Reading. And the first card you have, Aquarius, is the Moon. And the Moon is a card that symbolizes secrecy, deception, and romance. It could be secrecy and deception in romance. It could be secrecy by itself. It could be romance by itself. It could be psychic ability in you and your intuition is increasing and getting heightened. It could also indicate um, something could be an illusion right now around you. You know, Aquarius, you are going to be seeing through people like looking through a pane of glass in April. And some of you may already naturally be able to do that because, you know, you're you have strong psychic ability. But for whatever reason, April, you're going to be like seeing right through people uh, like, you know, their intentions and what they're all about. And you're going to have to look inside deep in yourself what you want to do with that information. Do you want to trust these people? Do you want to hang out with them? Do you want to distance yourself from them? Only you're going to know what's the best course of action for you personally. You know, and you may feel like there's so many things around you that may feel discombobulated and like you're trying to sort things out in April. And this could be your own personal items. This could be things in your home, clothes, shoes, you know, knickknacks, whatever, yard. But it could also be things to do with your financial paperwork or you know, maybe you're preparing your taxes or, or, and receipts and things are like discombobulated. I don't know. It's going to be different for all of you. And you may find yourself talking to some people, Aquarius, that may feel like off-putting to you. Like you may not like their agenda. You may not like their opinions or the way they're speaking or how they're handling certain things. So there's, and it could be people online, people on the internet, could be clients or customers, could be people you work with, uh, could be within your family or friends, but it could also be new people you meet. Uh, because I get like there's some element of you not, maybe you're not that familiar with them. I don't know because you're finding uh, certain people and your communications off-putting with some people in April especially around the mid part of the month. But, but keep in mind, it could be people you already know. But for some of you, it really does feel like it could be new people. You could have some sexual desire and chemistry that's kicking up inside of you with someone that you meet. Or um, you may already know them. But this could be one of the people that you're like, I can see through you like glass. I get what your intentions are about and something they say or do may feel off-putting to you. However, you may have strong sexual chemistry with them, but these could be two totally separate messages. It may not be the person you have the sexual chemistry towards, but some of you, uh, cause some of you are already intertwined with somebody and this isn't going to happen to you, but you single Aquarians don't be surprised if that kicks up for you. I feel like you're kind of like, in wonderment and bewilderment of some things 
that people are going to say to you, and you may feel like, did they just say that? Like, that's bizarre. You may find, like, things that people say are, like, shocking or surprising or, like, really off color or you off the cuff. Like, you may feel like it's too drastic or too, uh, like, what are they talking about? So the person, the uh, card you have next could be a people, could be a person to you. You have the Knight of Rods and the Knight of Rods is a fire sign person. This is either an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, sun sign, rising sign or moon sign. It could be you if you have a rising sign or a moon sign that is a fire sign. Some of you are going to be conversing with the Knight of Rods a lot. You could be doing some kind of business with them. They could be working on something that they need your help with. You may feel like they're too difficult to deal with, like they're talking too much. This could be one of your kids. This could be a coworker, a boss, uh, a spouse even, but like if you're doing work with them or they're asking you for help on a project or you're actually doing work with them, I feel like you're going to find them kind of annoying. For some of you, it could be connected to this moon card uh, because I feel like they could be, you know, kind of getting on your nerves for some of you. Like you may feel like they're talking too much. This could even be somebody like an ex to you or a good friend to you or somebody you're connected to that could be asking you to search for something that was theirs that they think you, you may have, uh, or something that they lent to you. Or, you know, like I said, you could have been with them and you guys split up and then they're looking for something and they may think you have it. Now this could be money. <laughs> this could be money. But for other, for some of you, I feel like it's an object. It could be a tool. It could be a piece of technology or something else. But I, you know, be on the lookout for that to kick up for some of you. I, I feel like, again, I feel like you're going to find them annoying or you're going to feel like, uh, and you may feel like what they're asking you to do, or just they themselves may be too jumbled up and confusing. They are going to look at you like you have the answers that they seek. Uh, maybe if they think you have really good intuition, that could be why they're contacting you or wanting to see you. Because I do feel like they feel like either you can find something that they lost or that you have something that was theirs, or that they feel like your intuition is so strong, you can give them the answer to something they seek. Because again, I feel that there's a lot of like talkative energy, jumbled up stuff, confusion coming up with this Knight of Rods person for you, fire sign person. So the card you have next is the Ace of Pentacles. And this is financial abundance coming to you from the divine source, giving you financial abundance. You could be getting, uh, receiving an inheritance, getting a raise. This could also be um, like getting a bonus or a promotion. Sometimes Ace of Pentacles can be getting something else of value that's not money. It could even be emotional value. You could have somebody that wants to give you money for something you did that helped them. So if you, it could be the Knight of Rods, it could be them, but I don't really feel it's them. I feel this is somebody else that may be like, Hey, you really helped me out in a jam or you did a favor for me or whatever it is. And then they give you uh, a tip, a bonus, some kind of money. Some of you Aquarians may be going through the motions about child support with an ex. You could be going to court over it, or you could be, uh, you know, just receiving the child support or going round and round about things to do with custody and child support also comes up here. 
some of you are going to break clean away from something that was unsavory for you. It could be a love relationship that you feel like this isn't good for me or a friendship could be a job or a business or even some kind of lifestyle choice like food you're eating or addictions of any kind. You may feel like, you know, this isn't good for me anymore. I need to step away from it or even where you're living. Maybe you feel like, you know, like maybe you're somebody that has allergies or other issues and the environment and the area you live in, you feel is not healthy for you. You could have some great opportunity that you stumble upon that could be very helpful to you if you own your own business or if you want to start a business uh, of something that you can now integrate into a business you already own to make more money or to start a business or a sideline business to make more money because some of this is coming up as energy, like an idea that you have of something you can sell or create to make more money, to bring in more income for you. And I feel like when you really see it working out for you is January of 2023. Now, some of you could wait to do it till January to launch this or to start this business or sideline ho hobby into a business or expanding your business. But some of you will start it soon in April or May, but you won't, you'll really see the big financial boon in January. Some of you will see it in October. Also, my guides are saying around the 22nd of October, some of you will see this uh, boon of money come to you. Some of you, it's January of 2023 but it would be something you're starting. Many of you will start it in April or May of 2022, and then the money comes to you thereafter. So I just want to say here, if you would like to get an expansion or a continuation of this reading, where when I'm done reading the cards, I go on and look into the crystal and give you additional psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for the month of April, 2022, you can access those videos by going to the link down below in the description box in the show more section underneath this video and click on the link that is for the psychic crystal readings for April of 2022. And it will take you to those videos on Vimeo. And then you can select whatever sign you want. These videos are also, the links are also available on my website at theluckymermaid.com. If you go to the videos page, you will see it'll probably be the top uh, video, first or second video series listed on that page. You just click on the zodiac sign you want under the heading of the Psychic Crystal Readings for April 2022, and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. So the next card you have in this reading is the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is a water sign person. This is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. This could be you, Aquarius. If you have a uh, rising sign or a moon sign, that's a water sign. Or if you're born on the cusp of Aquarius and Pisces. I feel like you're going to be going through things in a different manner. You're like changing your ways or like how you would normally tackle things. You're like, I'm going to go about it in a different way. I'm going to do this in a new way and, or, and hopefully it'll be easier and better for you. Some of you have a sibling that's a water sign person. It could also be somebody else in your life. If it's not a sibling that could be undergoing some kind of health issue, and maybe having to go through surgery. Uh, the surgery may not take place in April. It could be happening in May, but for some of you, it will be April. So this feels like a water sign person for some of you. Like I said, that feels more like a sibling to me, but could be somebody else. Uh, and they're going through a health issue or surgery. 
And I, because I get all this taken precautions about their health, they have to worry about their health. It could, for some of you, this isn't for all of you, because remember, it's a general reading. Um, it could have to do with issues of their heart, like a stroke, heart, or blood pressure, but especially their heart, but it could be other problems, not just that. You know, this Queen of Cups person is taking on more work than they should. Uh, and it could be you if your rising sign or moon sign is a water sign or you're on the cusp of Aquarius and Pisces, it could be you. Uh, so you could be doing too much work or taking on too much work, but this could be a water sign person connected to you doing it. They have anxiety. They're fearful. They're worried. They feel like I have to get things done. I have to get this done. There's some kind of, uh, you know, it could be that they're worried about things going on in the world, or it could be that, you know, they have, they're just feeling the pressure of time for some reason. And they're, they have anxiety. It could be if they have health issues, they could have anxiety. It's going to be different reasons why the anxiety is kicking up in them. Some of them feel they're running out of time and feel a pressure of time deadlines. Some of the, some, for some of the water signs in this card, it's anxiety for other reasons. They may be trying to force issues and f try to force things uh, that they want to see happen, but forcing things isn't going to work for them. Uh, it's just going to get them more frustrated. So they may be like, I don't like how this is going or this is working or this is happening. So I'm going to force this issue and try to make this, you know, happen now or get this to, you know, get this going. And it may not be the best time. Uh, it may not work out for them. So the card you have last is the fool. And this is starting out on a new path and a new journey with high hopes and high aspirations, but you have to be grounded and not have your heads in the head in the clouds because you could fall off the cliff. So can't have on rose colored glasses, got to be in reality. But basically it's a good card Aquarius because it's a card of a new journey here. You're, some of you Aquarians are in April are really going to see how you can trim the fat in places. And for some of you, it could be your physical body. Uh, but for some of you, it could be trimming the fat in like where you spend too much money or like cutting down on bills. Like, uh, you know, maybe you don't need to have this or that. Like, could you do without it and then figure out a way you know what I mean? Like trimming down the fat can be many things. Like I said, physical body or in your bills or spending. You may also be putting all your efforts forward in April because you may really want to shine and impress somebody. Now this could be somebody that you're interested in romantically, but it could also be maybe you want to impress your boss or you want to impress the public or you want to impress your family or you want to impress a club group or organization that you belong to or that you want to join. Like, I don't know where it's going to come up for you, but wanting to impress somebody is strong here for Aquarians in April. And you may really feel like I have to show all the things I know how to do. You may feel like I want to show all my talents and my skills and my abilities. And you may feel like, you know, I have to work harder at it than I used to. Like maybe if it's like, maybe I don't know the reason, but you, for some reason, some of you Aquarians may feel like you have to work harder at it than to shine or to be impressive than you did in the past. Some of you may feel that way. You could make some kind of noteworthy speech or presentation of some sort in April. You may even be willing to teach, train, uh, or 
give some like secrets that you know, like tricks of the trade, like your trade secrets, you may be like, I'm going to, you know, share that with the public or share that with my friends or share that with this group or club or organization. For some of you Aquarians, don't be surprised if April doesn't make you see that you have to do something at the drop of the hat or at a moment's notice could come up for you. So like being easygoing and going with the flow and free flowing will be better for you than if you try to be restrictive or rigid uh, in your ways. Like being flexible and free flowing will be the best. And I do feel you are going to be successful in grabbing either multiple people's attention or somebody's attention in April. So the best gemstone crystal I got for you is Unikite. So Unikite is a stone of vision and opening the third eye. It's also useful for scrying, which is when I, like when I read my crystal, when I look at my crystal, that's scrying. You can scry any stone. It doesn't just have to be a clear stone. Um, it's a stone of balance and bringing emotions and spirituality together. And it stimulates compassion, empathy, and encourages gratitude and instills determination. It's also a good stone for uh, like newlyweds and newly married couples. Um, I'm not really sure why, but I did research that in the, years ago in the past and I saw that, um, I don't know what country it was that they, that was like a tradition. They would give the Unikite to like married, newly married couples. It's going to be a stone that's going to help you feel more free and less constricted. It's going to help lighten your energy and lighten your mood in April. It's a good stone for you to wear or have on you when you're working on any like important projects or plans, especially for, you know, what came up for you that some of you may start a business or say, I believe it came up. I believe it's what came up in the Ace of Pentacles card. This would be a very good stone for you with like your endeavors when you're working on things, working on a speech, working on a class, working on a presentation, working on a new business endeavor or a business expansion. And it's a good stone for Aquarians in April to help you make sense out of anything that is complicated or confusing. And if you're new to my channel and you don't know what I mean about these gemstone crystals, when I say you sh could work with it, use it or wear it, I mean you could put it on your third eye chakra, your throat chakra, or your heart chakra when you're meditating. You could wear it as a beaded bracelet. You could sleep with it under your pillow carry it, put it in your bra, put it in your pocket or have it throughout the day where you can just hold it and look at it. So that's the way of uh, working with the stone and you get the most energy of the gemstone when it's touching your skin. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you will get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo on-demand pages, you can access my most recently recorded links down below in the description box. There'll be a whole series of videos there. Just read what they are. You might be interested in them if you haven't checked them out yet. But I'll just give you a few of them that are below so you know what I'm talking about. As, as I uh, always do every month, my Psychic Crystal readings for the month of April 2022 for each sign of the Zodiac. 
that link is down below. When I end my readings on YouTube, I then go on to, after each sign, I go into the crystal and give additional psychic predictions and messages for the month we're in. So you might want to check those out. My what's lucky and new for you in 2022, psychic tarot and oracle card readings are now available on Vimeo. And that is a very, very popular video series I record every year in the month of March. So if you haven't checked it out yet and you want to see what's lucky and new coming up for you in 2022, you might want to check that series out. Also, my big love readings for singles and couples for this year of 2022. That link is down below. The first half of the reading is for the single people of your sign. The second half of the reading will be for the coupled people of your sign. I used tarot, oracle card, and the crystal in those readings. So if you want to see what's coming up for love, you might want to check that out. The other video series that I'm going to mention here is my uh, Psychic Tower reading for the new year of 2022, where I used the year ahead tarot spread, which they were running like 40 minutes long. And I pulled 14 tarot cards in those readings. So if you want to see what, it's, what I got for your sign or your rising sign or your moon sign for this year of 2022, you might want to check those videos out. Also, if you would like to help support the readings I do here on YouTube, there's a donation link connected to PayPal down below all the different videos uh, links I have posted below. And a big thank you to those of you who have been so kind and generous and donated to my channel. It does mean a lot to me and it does help me a lot. So thank you so much for that. I do truly appreciate it. And if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides, you can follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram. I pull tarot cards, oracle cards, sometimes I use my crystal, and I write about five paragraphs worth of messages and predictions. Many people have found that they resonate with them. You may find they resonate with you as well. I've recently started putting these also on the community pages on my the community page on my channel on YouTube because I'm getting a little disheartened with Instagram. There's too many frauds over there pretending to be me and contacting my uh, followers. So if anybody follows you, it's not me. And then they're going to contact you later and ask you if you want a reading. And they have misspelled either Lucky, Mermaid, or my name, or they add a dot after the underscore, which is the one that is coming up the most. I've reported it to Instagram many times. So have the viewers out there. I don't know why Instagram is not taking this account off, down. It keeps happening over and over again. If you get contacted, just know it's not me doing it. I can't answer all the DMs. You guys are so kind to let me know when this is happening. But the best way to go about it is to report them to Instagram and block them because I keep doing it and it's not making them come down. So... I just want to put that out there because a lot of people do get these fraudulent uh, accounts pretending to be me. They copy my pictures. And if you go to those pictures, there's nothing written under them. They're just copying the pictures. So that's a way to tell whether it's me or not. Um, but anyway, so I hope you all have an absolutely awesome April and know that I wish you Many blessings and peace.